By the time mm. Nyerere entered politics, the old League of Nations mandate that Britain had exercised in Tangani. Julius Nyerere, President of Tanzania. Julius Nyerere, in full Julius Cambridge Nyerere, also called Mwalamu, Swahili, teacher, born March 1922, Butiama, Tanganyika, now in Tanzania, died October 14, 1999, London, England, first Prime Minister of Independent Tanganyika, 1961, who later became the first President of the new state of Tanzania, 1964. Nyerere was also the major force behind the Organization of African Unity, OAU, now the African Union. Nyerere was a son of the chief of the small Zanaki ethnic group. He was educated at Tabora Secondary School and Makerere College in Kampala, Uganda. A convert to Roman Catholicism, he taught in several Roman Catholic schools before going to Edinburgh University. He was the first Tanganyikan to study at a British university. He graduated with an MA in History and Economics in 1952 and returned to Tanganyika to teach. By the time Nyerere entered politics, the old League of Nations mandate that Britain had exercised in Tanganyika had been converted into a United Nations trusteeship, with independence the ultimate goal. Seeking to hasten the process of emancipation, Nyerere joined the Tanganyika African Association, quickly becoming its president in 1953. In 1954, he converted the organization into the politically oriented Tanganyika African National Union. Tanu. Under Nyerere's leadership the organization espoused peaceful change, social equality, and racial harmony and rejected tribalism and all forms of racial and ethnic discrimination. In 1955 and 1956 he journeyed to the United Nations in New York City as a petitioner to the Trusteeship Council and the Fourth Committee on Trusts and Non-Self-Governing Territories. After a debate that ended in his being granted a hearing, he asked for a target date for the independence of Tanganyika. The British administration rejected the demand, but a dialogue was begun that established Nyerere as the preeminent nationalist spokesman for his country. The British administration nominated him a member of the Tanganyikan Legislative Council, but he resigned in 1957 in protest against the slowness of progress toward independence. In elections held in 1958-59, Nyerere and Tanu won a large number of seats on the Legislative Council. In a subsequent election in August 1960, his organization managed to win 70 of 71 seats in Tanganyika's new Legislative Assembly. Progress toward independence owed much to the understanding and mutual trust that developed during the course of negotiations between Nyerere and the British governor, Sir Richard Turnbull. Tanganyika finally gained responsible self-government in September 1960, and Nyerere became chief minister at this time. Tanganyika became independent on December 9, 1961, with Nyerere as its first prime minister. The next month, however, he resigned from this position to devote his time to writing and synthesizing his views of government and of African unity. One of Nyerere's more important works was a paper called Ujima, The Basis for African Socialism, which later served as the philosophical basis for the Arusha Declaration, 1967. When Tanganyika became a republic in 1962, he was elected president, and in 1964 he became president of the United Republic of Tanzania, Tanganyika and Zanzibar. Nyerere was re-elected president of Tanzania in 1965 and was returned to serve three more successive five-year terms before he resigned as president in 1985 and handed over his office to his successor, Ali Hassan Mwinyi. From independence on Nyerere also headed Tanzania's only political party, Chama Cha Mapinduzi, CC. As outlined in his political program, the Arusha Declaration, Nyerere was committed to the creation of an egalitarian socialist society based on cooperative agriculture in Tanzania. He collectivized village farmlands, carried out mass literacy campaigns, and instituted free and universal education. 
He also emphasized Tanzania's need to become economically self-sufficient rather than remain dependent on foreign aid and foreign investment. Nyerere termed his socialist experimentation Ujima, Swahili, familyhood, a name that emphasized the blend of economic cooperation, racial and tribal harmony, and moralistic self-sacrifice that he sought to achieve. Tanzania became a one-party state, though certain democratic opportunities were permitted within that framework. As a major force behind the modern Pan-African movement and one of the founders in 1963 of the OAU, Nyerere was a key figure in African events in the 1970s. He was a strong advocate of economic and political measures in dealing with the apartheid policies of South Africa. Nyerere was chairman of a group of five frontline African presidents who advocated the overthrow of white supremacy in Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Southwest Africa slash Namibia, now Namibia. Nyerere's concerns on the domestic front were dominated by economic hardships and by difficulties between Nyerere and Idi Amin of Uganda. In 1972 Nyerere denounced Amin when the latter announced the expulsion of all Asians from Uganda. When Ugandan troops occupied a small border area of Tanzania in 1978, Nyerere pledged to bring about the downfall of Amin, and in 1979 the Tanzanian army invaded Uganda in support of a local movement to overthrow him. Nyerere's intervention helped to unseat Amin and brought about the return to power in Uganda of Milton Obote in 1980. Though enthusiastically adopted by his countrymen and steadfastly supported by sympathetic Western European nations, Nyerere's socialist policies failed to spur economic development in Tanzania. At the time of his resignation in 1985, Tanzania was still one of the world's poorest countries, with a per capita income of about US $250. Agriculture remained at the subsistence level, and the country's industrial and transportation infrastructures were chronically underdeveloped. One-third of the national budget was supplied by foreign aid. Tanzania had one of the highest literacy rates in Africa, however, and the society was both politically stable and notably free of economic inequalities. Nyerere himself remained committed to socialist policies throughout his political career. Nyerere continued as chairman of the CCM until 1990. Thereafter he assumed the role of elder statesman and was regularly called upon to act as arbiter in international crises such as those in Rwanda and Burundi. Soft-spoken, unpretentious, small of stature, and quick to laugh, Julius Nyerere was widely credited with impressive oratorical skills and unusual powers of political perception. His thoughts, essays, and speeches are collected in his books, Uhuru na Yumoja, 1967, Freedom and Unity, Uhuru na Ujima, 1968, Freedom and Socialism, and Uhuru na Mendelio, 1973, Freedom and Development. He also translated two plays by William Shakespeare, The Merchant of Venice and Julius Caesar, into Swahili.